So I got to give you guys the new top five best loadouts in Warzone 3 because one of my favorite SMGs in the game, my new favorite SMG is the Ram 9, got nerfed, so I have to give you guys something better. So we are going to start out with the AMR 9 instead of the Ram 9. Throw on the Nimbus 5 integrated suppressor for being undetectable by the radar, bullet velocity and range at the cost of sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed, not a big deal. Next, throw on the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop for sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, vertical recoil and gun kick control at the cost of horizontal recoil and hip fire and tack stance spread. Trust me, this is the best possible choice I went through all of them. Next, put on the 50 round mag. I just don't see anything better. I mean, 100 is just not worth it. It's too much, in my opinion. It's too many cons. Next, put on the Wolfhound carbine stock for gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed. And this last one's personal preference. In fact, I would say that the Niter is actually better than the Slate. So it's completely up to you whether you want to use a Slate, the Niter, or anything along these ranges. It's one of the most lethal guns in the game, and in my opinion, it actually gets the job done easier than a lot of the other SMGs just because it has damage from all distances versus like some of the smgs are good close range some of the smgs are pretty decent mid-range this is decent every single range long medium and short range so this is definitely the ideal smg to have on here and here's the entire class setup for the amr9 make sure you guys are copying this down take a screenshot or whatever you guys have to do in fact the only other alternative i would recommend if you guys didn't want the nimbus 6 for whatever reason which is, is still in my opinion the best barrel it gives with a integrated suppressor you can actually use the uh, tectonic micro integral suppressor i've heard a lot of good things about this is not really my cup of tea but if you guys want to use it feel free i mean you could throw this on there and it'll actually give you some basically some way more movement and like i said some people say that it's worth it some say it's not so if you guys want to give this a try i mean it's basically just a faster version of the previous build that I gave you guys with less bullet velocity. So you guys kind of have to weigh your pros and cons. I mean, I don't know if you don't want that as well. You can also throw on the Sonic Suppressor S. It helps with bullet velocity and damage range. I think that's pretty ideal too. I mean, I mean, it's probably what? One bullet left? Yeah, this thing is absolutely nasty. So a bunch of other options you guys can actually choose next is the ram 7 and there's only one class setup i can give you guys for this and it just works perfectly i'm surprised that people haven't used this more often especially this class setup because i don't change it and people just think that i'm cheating when i'm using this because i have no recoil now number one thing is just throwing cast's break like this is I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the only thing you need but i'm going to show you guys the entire class setup. just throwing the cast's break for horizontal recoil firing aim stability do lose some aim down sight speed but not, not a big deal at all just for stability i mean put on the brune heavy support grip for gun kick control aiming out this way horizontal recoil and firing aim stability you do lose some vertical recoil and aim down sight speed but that's not a big deal in fact these are the only two things i would suggest to actually make it have no recoil everything else kind of helps with bullet velocity and the amount of bullets and all that next on the cronin headwind long barrel for bullet velocity and range aiming out sway and firing aim stability you do lose some hip fire attack stand spread aim walking speed and spread to fire speed but that's not really a big deal I don't really recommend anything else. They're just not really as optimal as this thing right here. Just because the bullet velocity and range makes it so good. The next one is a given, the 60 round drum. I mean, if you're playing quads, trios, even in fact, any game mode except maybe solos, this is what you need to have. With solos, I mean, I'd be okay with using 40 just because, I mean, one-on-one -on -one engagement's not really a big deal. But if you're playing trios and quads, then make sure you have 60. And then the HVS 3.4 pad for gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of sprint speed and sprint to fire speed. Like I said, these recoil control things are really the essential thing to make this have no recoil. And I can't wait to show you how powerful it is. Watch this. So this thing is absolutely busted. It does not take much effort to use. Like, I'm surprised that people say like, oh, my RAM doesn't do that. My RAM has a whole lot of recoil. And I'm just like, well, just throw this attachment on there. Like, it's really that simple. I remember streaming literally just yesterday. In fact, if you guys are watching this right now, I'm most likely live. But I remember streaming this just yesterday, and people were just like, well, what's your RAM class? Because my RAM doesn't shoot like that, and you must have a Cronus. And it's just like, no, it's really just this class right here. Like, if you don't have this class, if you haven't tried this class, then you're missing out a lot. This is a very easy RAM 7 class to use. You'll have no recoil. Next is the HRM9. This is basically the best SMG in the game, so I had to make a class setup for you guys and make it very easy for you. Throw on the Zemin 35 compensated flash higher. It shows the radar ping, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability helps a lot. Now, you do lose some bullet velocity and aim down sight speed, but I mean, I honestly so highly recommended it. If you don't want to use this, then the only alternative I really would recommend uh, it's kind of risky, but the monolithic suppressor, if you guys don't want to deal with that, then you guys can go all the way over here and then use the LFR flash hider. I think that's really 
the best alternative otherwise if you don't want to lose any sort of bullet velocity but i don't think that you guys are going to notice the bullet velocity that much so i think you guys should keep this next you're going to have the dr6 hand stop for aim walking speed sprint to fire speed aim down sight speed and movement speed you do lose some aim walking steadiness and hip fire attack stance spread but i just don't think it matters because if you put on the thor 90 barrel you get hip fire attack stance spread aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed and sprint speed and just lose a little bit of aiming out sway and recoil control which you're not going to notice next make sure you put on the 50 round drum just because i mean there's really no better option if you put on 20 you're just gonna run out of bullets way too fast this is the best possible choice and the last thing is the folding stock for recoil control gun kick control and firing aim stability you do lose some aim down sight speed but everything we put on there this is literally the most perfectly balanced smg this smg reigns supreme at basically all ranges except long range is just a little bit of a challenge just because it does have an initial jump before it actually settles like you guys see there is a little bit of a jump and then you guys kind of get the shot on point so if you guys can control that shot on point in the beginning, then I mean, I would say that it's lethal in every single range. You just be careful. I mean, what what situation do you really want to put yourself in where you have to shoot from 30 like 30 meters? I just don't really recommend that. I think that you guys just stick to the 10 to 20 meters and you'll be good to go. But here's the entire class of the HRM9. Make sure you guys copy this down because this is basically meta. This is everyone's using a bit competitive along with the Ram 7. So if you guys want a meta loadout, it's a Ram 7 and HRM9. So make sure you guys are copying this part down. New loadout that everyone's been using as well is the SOA Subverter. This thing is incredibly easy to use. So I have to give you guys this build just because it gets the job done very easily. Throwing the cast is break L. It helps with horizontal recoil and firing aim stability. You do lose some aim down sight speed, but nobody cares when it comes to battle rifles and ARs. Next one on the Dozer 90 long barrel for bullet velocity and range, firing aim stability, gun kick control, and recoil control. You do lose some aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, aim walking standards, and aim down sight speed, but trust me, the trade off is worth it. It's just so amazingly broken. Next put on the Bruin Heavy support grip for gun kick control, aiming out sway, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability. You do lose some vertical recoil and aim down sight speed, but the trade off is once again worth it. You're going to have a laser once this is done. 50 round drum, I don't recommend the 30 round mag. I mean, if you want to use it, make sure you're using it in solos otherwise just stick with the 50 round drum and the very last thing is the motion v2 heavy stock for recoil control and gun kick control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed now if you want something very similar to the ram where you can just shoot people out the air from like miles away then this is exactly what you need like this takes no effort at all it's actually insane i'll be honest when i say like this is the only competitor to the ram like i can't think of any other weapon that competes so easily with the ram than this this actually acts, if I can compare it to anything else, this acts more like the MW3 ACR. So here's the entire class. Make sure you guys copy it down and you will absolutely fry. Final gun I want to show you guys is the Wasp 9 because it's just such an amazing SMG, especially when you pick it up off the ground. Like this is the only weapon I can actually trust with ground loot that I can easily shred no matter what the enemy has. Throw on the Zemin 35 compensated flash shatter for shortens the radar ping, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability. You do lose some bullet velocity and aim down sight speed, but trust me, that's completely fine. Next, put on the DR6 hand stop for aim walking speed, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed at the cost of hip fire attack stance spread, and aim walking steadiness. Put on the 9mm high grain rounds for bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of recoil control. The only reason I chose this is because I wanted as much bullet velocity as possible, and despite whatever I do with the recoil control, it just really doesn't seem to make a difference so I just chose something that was kind of optimal with a little bit of recoil control for this entire setup. I chose a 40 round mag now some people can choose 50 completely up to you you gotta weigh your pros and cons I just don't think that it's really necessary to have 50 I like the 40 but if you want to use 50 feel free. And the last thing I put on there is a NIDER model 2023 this is just my personal preference if you guys want to use an iron sight then just throw another attachment on there. The Wasp 9 is honestly one of the best SMGs in the game and I'll actually go as far as to say like if you're able to hit your long range shots as well which I mean I'll be lucky if I do because of the jumps a little bit but if you're able to hit those long range shots then this is lethal at every single range it just gets the job done so easily and it's just such an amazing weapon to have in your arsenal so make sure you guys have this class set up down like it's just such an amazing thing to have and here's the entire thing make sure you guys take a picture of this class whatever you guys have to do and let me know which class is actually your favorite in this video